Hello tattoo enthusiasts! Today Papa Carlo will show you how to draw a custom flash sheet. I hope it's not gonna be a flash sheet, <laughs> but I'll do some designs real quick, real easy to show you the way I'm doing it. I'm really happy to be back here and do this uh, for you guys. I don't think it's such a special thing, but I guess a lot of people don't know about it. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing as you free if you freehand it on the people's skin. You start with a lighter pencil and make uh, make an idea of it, make the shapes and everything. Some people have a, already a picture that they draw from it by looking at it. Like for example here I have a sketchbook. Of course you have to be sure that the book you're looking at is a proper one and there is no shitty designs because if you look at shitty design and you draw your way you're gonna draw a shitty design that's made from shitty design that go like a centipede to, till the end of the blah 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 yeah so we're gonna start with the most common basic shit that I started with is a rose traditional rose I'll make three circles three different roses I don't know if I can do it, but let's see! <laughs> one is like the basic one, a lot of tattooers call it sad face rose. It's pretty much draw a sad mouth, draw a sad eyes, more like angry I guess. I, then, call, I call it onyx logo. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can do this like what's in the middle of the rose, right? And then the leaves around. You can put some green leaves around, some thorns. I like it not make it symmetrical so the flow is a little better. I think for skin is really cool that it's more flowy. You can add some stripes like this to make it a little more flat and blah blah blah. <laughs> so yeah, this is like the first rose and then after you, again, like about these pencils, you can use whatever pencil, whatever color you you feel like. Uh, sometimes your eyes uh, can uh, feel good for some specific colors, especially light ones. So it does not look like really sharp in you, in your face. <laughs> so that's why you start with the lighter tone, so you can see kind of like all that shape. This is actually pretty detailed for light uh, pencil. I mostly sketch up like this. I do like real, really quick one, you know, and that would be the, the it just goes faster. That's one of the way, what, one of the things why I wanted to do like this is because I, I just can make design quicker. Yeah. And then I go with the dark, uh, one level darker <laughs> tone. That could be not the darkest, it could be actually like proper red. So I take the darker one and I can make like the lines stronger, more detailed so I can follow on that. This is gonna be pretty much finished. Rose. You also of course have to know how the rose looks like. This. I, from beginning, I couldn't draw it from my head because I kind of couldn't figure out where the details are. So that's why you need these reference books. Maybe you can bring some old school. That's why you need these <coughs> reference books. I can't find. Like for example, there's one rose. It's more detailed. It's not so flat and old school. So, but it's a good example for. We're gonna do next one like that. I mean. You're gonna, you're gonna have to draw like hundred roses till you get the, the shape. Cause you have to kind of practice the movement for your hand to make the lines more nice for your eye, you know, <laughs> more readable. Yeah, for example, this one. This is really close to this. What I have it here. You can see the leaves have some details. You can add these. This is well. I remember when I started drawing roses first time, I couldn't do these lines too quick. Now, after being, I, I might have been drawing millions of roses <laughs> in my life. Well, 
Not that much, but a lot. 20, at least. 20, 20 at least, yeah. So, a classy shit. Then we move on to more detailed ones. So this is gonna be more interesting. I'm gonna do it here. I will try to trace it, I'll draw it from looking at it and uh, put a little my twist in it. So you see there is a circle as well, you know? That's like the main thing you could start with that's easier to figure out. Then you start to read these leaves around and see how they could go. Imagine how they could go. <laughs> and, and, and where you, they go. And then, <laughs> and these green ones, uh, green leaves, uh, are usually just pointed with lines in the direction that they go. So that's like easier to figure out if it's gonna be not too much of them and, and the way it goes. So there we found, found a spot for this little head, a sexy one, a romantic, romantic rose more detailed inside and it's so good that it's flat and wide because you don't need to be precise to make the shape you know it's more more with the flow so you could just draw pretty much the shape of it that's how i actually do bars and shit you can do like this with a thick line like that you don't have to draw two lines to make it so it's super easy that's the good thing about it, it already draws two lines in one movement you know um, so we take stronger I'll go with straight away with the darkest ones so we, we have we move on quicker you know you kind of try to figure out where the line could be So you can see the head of the rose, the big man motherfucker is already like a stencil. You can actually scan it in, put some contrasts and use it as a stencil. I like to do, you know, there's a million ways of how to make one leaf, you know, you can experiment. As long as there is consistency, and that's gonna make it more readable, uh, the entire design. It can be one bigger, one smaller, you know. Well, sometimes, but still, you have to repeat the patterns to make it look uh, flowy. That's a rose. You could use this as a tattoo. And it took me fucking five minutes. Roses. And this was How to Draw Roses by Carlos. There's a couple of videos like how to draw proper flash sheet on his channel, so that yeah. will be somewhere popping up on the screen. Check that out. Instagram. You can check, check his Instagram, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. Uh, you can follow me there, I'm not blocking anyone. Uh, yeah. And I hope you really, I, I really hope this helped you. And I'll see you next time! Thank <laughs> you.